hey guys welcome back so new setup for one um i am up in the attic right now it is currently like 70 degrees or something in pennsylvania which is laughable because they're like it's like actually warm like it's florida winter right now and we are gonna do a makeup tutorial don't know what we're gonna do yet i kind of want to use the coca-cola palette because i just want to kind of i just kind of want to use it i don't know i still don't think i'm going to use any like the cool tones yet just because i'm not feeling them they're a little too winter for me so i'm going to save those for winter i don't remember what look i did But, you know, we're just going to film. I'm going to throw you guys into voiceover because I'm going to watch Nicole Guerrero first. By first, I mean all the time. But yeah, that's what we're doing. So here we go. All right, so first I'm going to moisturize my lips. I've already got moisturizer on the skin, um, but you know if I do a liquid lip, I gotta put some kind of balm or something on my lips. So we're gonna go in first with the um, Makeup Revolution Goddess Glow Primer and the Smashbox Vitamin C Primer. Mix a little bit of that onto the back of our hand and dot it all over the face. Um... I just wanted to be a little extra glowy today, so. For Mikey. All right, next we are taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation and the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Foundation, um, mixing those a little bit onto the back of hand. I don't know why the pump on the Anastasia Foundation, like it's one good pump and then it's like little baby squirts and then you have to like reset the pump. I don't understand, um, but I love that foundation so I can't stop using it. Okay, and then we are going to mix that with our beauty blender and then blend it into the skin with the beauty blender as well. All right, moving on into brows. I'm just taking the Morphe Brow Pomade and shaping them up. And then I'm actually going to use a shade from the MAC Selena uh, La Reina palette to fill them in because it's just like, in my opinion, the perfect shade for my brows right now.
Next, we are just going to take the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and carve out our brow bone. Um, this is also going to be the same concealer plus the Dose of Colors Meet Your Hue Concealer that we use later underneath our under eye. And then, just because it's me, obligatory, hey dad, promise I'm not naked, I swear. <laughs> Alright, next going into the Coca-Cola palette, we are going to do a brown kind of halo eye kind of vibe today. Um, what shades did we use? We started off with the real thing in our crease as our transition shade, just to kind of get everything a little you know, we're setting up, we're setting up the transition shade. I don't know why I was trying to explain to you what a transition shade, y'all know what a transition shade is. Come on now. not sponsored but i wish all right and then next we are going back through the crease um just to smoke it and deepen it just a little um and warm it up just a tad as well with the shade name drop and we're gonna do that basically everywhere we put the real thing but we're just going to blow it out make it a little bit more smoky um if you guys don't already know i will spend probably 800 years blending out eyeshadow if I actually had the time to do so. All right, next shade that we are taking is all the feels, and this is going to be our inner and our outer corner. We are going to put a little bit of this in the crease, but not too, too heavy. Um, we're going to do a halo eye, so I want to leave a little bit of space in the center of the lid for the color that we're going to use later. And truthfully, if we had time to sit here and watch me blend my eyeshadow, I would do it. But this video is currently, at the time of editing, editing this, 65 minutes long still. And ain't nobody got time for that. All right, and next, we're not doing a whole too lot with this shade, but we are going to take a little bit of Energetic from the palette and pop that, again, into the outer and inner corners um, just to give it a little bit more coolness um, and just to deepen it a bit. But we pretty much go back over it with all the feels to blend out a little bit later anyway, so this isn't too big of a difference, but it made a difference to me mostly mentally. I swear, one day I just want to make a compilation of just all of the lengths of blending that I actually do. But that video would probably be 10 years long, so probably not going to happen. 
All right, and next we are going to take the NARS concealer really quickly, dot that onto our lid, and then look straight up. And this gives us a good line for where the um, shadow is going to hit our crease so that when we put like a glittery shimmer shade there, that it doesn't get lost in our crease or transfer up higher when we don't want it to. And we are going to be using the shade Add Life, the nice, lovely gold shade from the palette. And then we're just taking Add the Feels again and blending out the edges of that shimmer shade as well. And then, like I said, we're going to take the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and the Dose of Colors Meet Your Hue Concealer, and we are going to highlight underneath our eyes and cover up the dark circles and any fallout and all of that jazz. And then, just like with eyeshadow, this takes me a minute to blend out and get to the point where I want it, but if I didn't put as much concealer on, I probably wouldn't have that problem. But I can't help it. I can't. And then we're just going to use the Over Cosmetics Translucent Powder. Whatever it is that yellow powder is that I am obsessed with and I keep using underneath my eyes. That one, I can't remember the name. It should be listed in the bottom bar for you guys. But we're just going to lightly put that underneath our eyes and blend it out. We're not going to bake or anything crazy because I don't want to keep the powder on my face too long. My skin's been hella dry since I moved here. So we're going to 86 baking for a minute. Going back in to finish out the lower lash line, we're going to first take um, Name Drop, pop that into the waterline on the outer inner corner, um, and then do Add Life in the center of the, the lower lash line, and then take um, all the feels and pop that um, as close to the lash line as we can where we put Name Drop first. So, I'm going to do nuggets. So, everything here, 
Now for lashes, after putting on mascara, I've been using the Anastasia Beverly Hills mascara, but you can use whatever mascara works best for you. Um, I am going to use Ardell 113 Wispies. Not my favorite lash, guys. Not my favorite lash. They are a little wide for me, so they're a little bit more difficult for me to maneuver onto my eye, but they did work with the look. They're just not my favorite to actually apply. All right, focusing back on the face, we are going to take the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer in, I think the name is, the shade is Deep Bronze. I don't really know. I'm just glad they finally made one of these in your girl's shade because I always wanted to use it. And then all the shades they used to have were like my foundation color. So can't bronze with that, but it smells so delicious. <sighs> All right, next we are going in with the Morphe Blush Trio and I think Pop of Coral. I don't know what two shades we that like the names are um, because I think I've like rubbed off the shade names in the last year that I've had this palette, but it is the far left and the center shade. But I don't know what their names are, so good luck. Blend until your arm falls off. That's the motto. All right, and then since there is a lot happening on the eyes, we're just going to go with a basic nude lip. We're going to use the Melt Cosmetics uh, Lip Liner in Headbang, and then we're going to use the ColourPop Liquid Lipstick in Top Notch, I think. I think that's... Oh, no, that's an eyeshadow. It's a nude liquid lipstick. You get the idea.
do we even need to discuss what highlight palette I'm using? If you don't know by now, you're never going to get it. Anastasia, Beverly Hills, Nicole Guerrero, Glow Kit. Get it. If it's still in stock, get it. If it's still in stock, get it. I'm going to drill it into your heads, guys. Get the palette. Not my favorite lash, not my favorite lash, but I do actually kind of really love the way that the eye itself came out. I feel like I would always be happier in a Demi USB, but what can you do? You couldn't find them for Halloween, so you know, you had to work with what you had. So I'm okay with this. Um, it's like one piece of hair. Just like chilling right in front of my eyeball making me crazy in these lights but that is it for this look um i don't know what else i have to tell you guys i know that i do want to do wicked wednesdays like once a month um and i will probably be doing those uh starting in the new year just because i want to get a couple of them like pre-filmed edited ready to go scheduled um so those will probably be back in January, uh, but they were just a lot of fun to do Halloween looks. And so I don't want to make them one time a year. I just think once a month and then Halloween, October will be every Wednesday. Um, and then I guess I got to decide if I want to do Vlogmas. Do I want to do Vlogmas? I feel like I should do Vlogmas because it'll force me to actually like put content out every day um so i feel like i'm probably gonna end up doing vlogmas hopefully that actually works out um some of those vlogs will probably be two minutes long some of them will be two hours long because i can't help myself in a rant um but thank you guys for watching i will see you guys in the next video have anything else to say like comment subscribe you know the drill with that also share this video if you are here and you're liking what you're seeing share it with other people please share my shit share my shit please for the love of god because the bitch is struggle busting so please share it <laughs> um but other than that i will see you guys in the next video now i gotta figure out what that's gonna be <laughs> bye guys